place it upon the state license number 2004 33 125 00 service license number 145 issues South Central Trade as local bundle located at 429 Walmart Street. Elizabeth Micey is the president of the all conditions placed upon the backyard. Backyard present present condition of license number to use the backyard in the summer home. No dancing, no news to be heard from the inside of the club. Effective April 25th, 2011. Adam Bohart, 14, uh, Rendezvous Way, Lebanon, New Jersey. President of 100% of this Good evening, gentlemen. Good evening, I am Samuel. Additional height to this wall, which would be made of solid substance, 
we believe that, and we have been informed by professionals, that the effect of this law would be to make it even less heard by the neighborhood. And while we do not believe that there was ever a problem, we did have uh, a decibel measurement taken by authorities in the city of Elizabeth last year. And we had whatever the equipment, I don't know how to describe the equipment exactly, but it is in the records of the municipality that they came out with this equipment. And they measured, there is a published standard of how many decibels is too much and how many decibels is okay. And the report reported that the decibel level last year before this application was satisfactory within the standards of the code, within the standards of what is deemed by the law to be okay. So that since we were informed by officials last year that we were fine, and since we believe that this law, if permitted, would make it even finer, we believe that we are, again, demonstrating good citizenship and demonstrating a request of this board. We want to run our business. We want to bring traffic to the area. We want to make this a business place that people want to go to spend the night out. We want to comply with laws. We want to do it right.
higher wall is the more sound is going to be reflected. But I'd say it's similar to if you go along 78, you see the wall that's up there, and it's up there strictly for the sound of the traffic for the people that live nearby. You can tell that wall is about 10 feet high. But if you have it, you can use it on the inside of the building, because we didn't give you permission to use the outside of the music. What is it? We didn't give you permission to do that. But if you hear the sound of the music from inside, and we get the place from the music inside, my point is, what makes you think that raising another 10 feet is going to help you if it's coming from inside? Because we have to give you permission to use the outside backyard patio for the music of the dance. That's what I'm going to ride with us. I understand that. The problem is that the door would totally close all the time. Yes, you don't have any probably near the music at all. But people do come in and out. You know, they go out to smoke, they go out to talk outside. It's one of the reasons we have the patios, because you know, people don't want to just be inside and dancing and yelling and screaming. They also want to meet with each other and you know, have a cocktail outside and socialize, which is where that area is. Obviously, music is not as loud as we'll be on the inside. So people do come in and out all the time, which is when music apparently is bothering me. Uh, may I? Yes. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm from the attorney representing the people. I'd like to close to you. I'm interested in hearing from Mr. Alana. Please. Wait. Say again. I'm interested in hearing from the attorney representing the neighbor who's complaining about the world. Okay, we're going to bring you forward. Sure. I first want to ask, what are the intentions of the patio? Um, is the intentions follow the follow the right? Yeah, the order. Uh, it's a price to close to somewhere between fifty and hundred and two thousand. On the, the intentions, like what are your the intentions of the patio? Is it to just socialize, smoke, do a cocktail? Correct. Okay. Um, I know currently the wall that's there. Um, it's really almost not even a wall because it's almost like put on blind on blinds, like on a window because it's like the wooden panels that go in the back part. Um, what would be different with the new wall that's looking to be in place, um, your insulation on the inside? I know from previously, uh, it's always been a big concern for me, for the neighbors um, that, you know, have complained in the, in the past and also might be complaining now too, it's noise though. So I just want to know exactly what, you know, like the wall is going to be, um, because currently the wall that's there, there's, um, there's like gaps in between, um, so like it's, I don't feel like it's a sufficient wall. And I just want to know what's the new wall, and if there's some insulation padding on the inside, or anything else to help prevent the noise level. We're going to do whatever the engineer tells us would be sufficient to muffle the sound, and that, that includes filling the gaps. I mean, we were told that just by the fact that we're raising the wall, and I also wanted to know, I know right next door you also have a water tuning and of course Kobe on the other side. The wall, would it be even to a water tuning, like when it comes to the level or would it surpass that? That would be up to the engineer when he actually does it. Okay. Um, I, I, can't, I can't give you the answer to, you know, what would be the sufficient or the right way to We were just told that it can, it can help raise it like that. How are they going to go over the structurally? You know, I just want to make sure, like, even if we go down this route, for it to fit with the character of, like, you know, the neighborhood on that side, like, just the level of the, the height of the wall. Um, I do know, too, that um, in, in speaking with um, Ezio, like, there's one of our inspectors have gone out or has a recommendation that he could give, is it possible to have him share right now? Uh, this is our sound. Uh, our sound. Uh, Mr. Charles? Uh, 
wanted to um, put on the neighborhood. And I have not been able to support anything that would allow um, outside the music domain um, for a club of, of his magnitude. Um, so, so I just wanted to, to go on record to say that, Mr. President. Anyone else? Mr. President, on that note, I really want to be able to decipher um, like the whole music thing. Because personally, um, I'm in favor of having background music. If it's socializing, we have to be able to talk. But I'm not in favor for, like, let's say, an outdoor club or you know, music with DJ, so on and so forth. So when it comes to the music aspect, like if it's background music and you can talk and socialize, I'm fine with that, but to have an outdoor, like, loud presence, I agree, like, you know, that, that could be a big issue uh, with that. So I just want to know what's the plans when it comes to the music and the back. First of all, as Mr. Boulevard said. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm sorry. Sure. You can't hear it? I Try to look at this. Um, no, I'm just kidding. Simply, what are your plans with the music? I know you mentioned before it's a patio to socialize, to smoke, to have a drink. So I picture background music, and to me, background, I'm totally fine with background music. Um, as long as everyone's able to just mingle. And I, I went there today. picture it the way it would be in the future. Um, but personally, and how Councilwoman said, I think the big concern, we don't want like, an outdoor club, DJ, like all that loud music. So what is the plan when it comes to the music? Is it background, socializing music, or is it club music, like, you know, loud for people? It's, it's not going to be in club music as, as inside of the uh, again, mostly in pan areas for socializing, and but it makes it a better atmosphere if there is a little bit of music and you know outside, uh, and perhaps and special occasions we have a band. Not that we're looking to do it outside, but that would probably be a noisier day. But that would not be on a regular basis. That would be if we hire someone. Uh, for the most part, it would be back. Could be 
used. So what will it be used for? That's the question, Mr. President. What will it be used for? And then, that, what about the thing that would be in, it could be somebody speaking, it could be, it's not just used for the club either, it could be for a, a session during the day with people that are hired in clubs. So it's not just for the stage. Thank you. 
speaking in favor of Allah because of the uh, influx of many Latinos in Elizabeth, the things will change and, and we have to adjust ourselves to a different culture, a different type of, uh, of people that we have in Elizabeth, where we encourage by paying a fee uh, to the city of Elizabeth to get an outdoor permit, an uh, outdoor cafe, you can put your tables, you can also have an outdoor restaurant, just like you in the European nation of Central South America. You agree and drink, but it's got to be a time stipulated, you know, particular time that we have to say. 11 o'clock is the hour, you must respect 11 o'clock. Um, the outdoor uh, cafe license that you're referring to does not uh, permit uh, music and entertainment, it's just allowed for alcohol service in the front of the premises where you have the allow outdoor cafe. But there is a lot of alcohol, there's a lot of salvation in the city that have speakers and then bless them to use it just like they might be going on inside this particular premises. No. That's an enforcement issue that if there's violations should be reported to the you know, for an investigation. Uh, we do a lot of reporting, but uh, selective service or selective choice is a different thing in our city. Uh, I, I think there's a two main issues here. Number one, we have to have respect for your neighbor. Number two, if the applicant is willing to lower his voice or his volume of the music or noise, I've been in Obama a couple of times, I've been in the garden on the back, whatever the party was. Um, and like as the gentleman said, I don't want to the music inside so much that on my age, I'm less probably 15, 20 minutes, but I have to get out. So you go outside, especially for people that smoke, people that have a drink, it's okay. I go along with the council and the module, with the world council. But we also have to be concerned. If we don't allow this to happen in a city which is going to be the trend for the future, then we have to really have some kind of a thing on the book and say, okay, you could do this, but at a certain time, we don't allow life on the table, but we don't allow it to have a dream also, like the council has mentioned. It's very relaxing, background music. So when I go outside in the area, I like to sit down on the couch, I like to have a drink, and I like to talk to you to my friends or to a girl or whatever, to my wife. But I don't have to shout or scream because if you are inside, you hear for like, you know, uh, it's good for teenagers. That's why a lot of times the new generation of a lot of problem when they reach to a certain age, they can hear no more. So those are the negative and the good things that we have and as, as the city council has to make a decision of whether it is right. If the architect will allow it and, and the zoning or the uh, officers of the construction department mentioned, uh, Mr. Olson, I think you mentioned before, the decibel 50 to 54, just like you go on a highway, if the speed is 55, you go 65, sometimes 70, state troopers, they let you go, the police, they let you go, so people become to the law, that's allowed, but then from 70, you can't go to A, which is not allowed at all, you know. So those are the things we have to come out. Uh, the owner has an intention of uh, spend some money, and make the unpredictable person to complain, and he has all the right to complain, and that he wants to live, and he wants to be respected, he's paying taxes, just the same way the applicant of the market is paying taxes. And so uh, we have to work together to make a city better in agreement. I would be in favor that we allow him to build this wall that's going to be soundproof, so that the gentlemen and the people that live living across then I have to have the burden. And if we are not this job, we got a lot of the bars that we have in the city of Elizabeth, that a lot of you might be not aware, but we're not going to want to go on to listen and then know what's happening in the city. So uh, we do have a lot of establishment, the speakers aside, and raise up the volume, they could hear it from one story. Uh, even if you're going to go to the establishment, you could hear that noise until you close the door, opening close, opening close, and you feel the answer. Can you please be right Please be right back. That's the point, Mr. 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 President. We have to make the right decision, and, and the decision should be for both of the investor. The gentleman that the investor home many years ago to live there, and the investor that moved from Cross the Street on North Road Street into that corner property, he wants to make something that is appealing to the city and also that you can make money 
and then by the, the time. The stage that you saw on the, on, the, uh, on the map, there's a lot of things you could do. You could have a, a presentation of some beautiful lady from, let's say, Colombia, or from Ecuador, or from Argentina, and you give them a prize. But you could have five guys at the end of the stage, and you give them a prize. And most nice looking guy from Italy, boom, that's it. You could have a fashion show, you could have a dress up thing.
The application has a history of having come before you, making representations, and not living under those representations. And I don't care how tall this wall is, if there's going to be outside entertainment, that is absolutely contrary to what you permitted on April 25, 2011. Now let me say this. My clients have no objection to what was proposed initially, if in fact that is what will occur. If you want to come outside from the premises where, as I understand it, there is loud music, and relax, as the councilman has indicated, they don't have any objection to that. If you want to have a drink down there, that's fine. What's going to happen is, based upon the history that we have, once you permit the utilization and the erection of this wall, you're going to have a repeat of last year. And uh, we are opposed to that. And I have here a, uh, uh, a list of complaints which the Elizabeth Police Department responded to and reported uh, pertaining to the premises in question, which include noise complaints and others. Over 30 in a relatively short period of time. Now, having said that, uh, I'd like to call uh, for you the owner, Mr. Fuller, and I have a video which was taken by one of the tenants in the uh, property of Russell Street where you can actually hear and see what was going on on four nights in June and July. And with, with that, having said that, I would have a right of permission to call Mr. Hewlett. Would you please write it for us? We have some questions. Please state your name. Well, it all depends. Maybe on a Wednesday night they have a big party. They do a tea 
TV commercial or that wet t-shirt contest, it all depends on traffic events. And then it's made on Thursday and we stop. And then on Thursday it was closed. So it's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday night. That's a three day weekend. And the police have been notified, they've been there, they've seen it, they made calculations and everything. I want to show you a photograph. Take down July 27, 2012. And you identify that photograph. That's, that's the stage you got to go in the back, back they call the bunker. And have you seen any activity on that stage? Oh, yes, I've seen activity. I've seen it. My tenant has seen it. And I'm almost sure we got it on CD. What activity is it? Dancing, DJ screaming, and the people dancing, and people screaming. What time of the night is this occur? One, two o'clock in the morning, before closing, three o'clock, to the end, but I can't say no. to 
offer you financial incentives for you to try to be satisfied. He offered me, he wanted to buy the house, he wanted to take the tenant out, he tried to tell the tenant. The man wants to be left alone, we don't even want to offer him. We just said, take the music and cry. That's all we ask. We don't need this problem, but he seemed to make it. Stay with the question. Go ahead. I'll be more specific. Were you aware that your tenant was complaining that the windows were not satisfactory and that there were better windows that could be put in there? Were you aware of that? No, sir. I wouldn't tell you what I was aware of. I didn't ask you that. Do you know that new windows were put in for your building by Joe Bob? He asked me permission to do it. Do you know that it was done? He asked me permission to put in two windows. Excuse me. Do you know that the windows were put in? Yes. And do you know that the windows were put in at the expense of Coca Cola? Yes. He asked me. And do you know that he asked you for the purpose of trying to help the sound situation? Yes, he did. Okay. Are you aware that when windows were closed, your tenant complained about the lack of air conditioning and asked whether there could be some relief? Are you aware of that? I'm aware, and I'll tell you the question. Yes or no, please. Yes, I'm aware. Are you aware that the Coca Cola people put in air conditioning into your building at their cost to please your tenant? Yes, he asked me permission to do it, to try to please him. So that Coca Cola put in new windows and new air conditioning.
So you have him off and you say, just one more question, when he might have 10. It's not, it's not, it's not really fair to, to the applicant. Now, when I asked the witness whether he had been employed by Coca-Cola, he said no. But he knew darn well that his tenants were employed. So, you know, it seems to me if we want to follow in this application in the future, we got to be sure that we're 100 percent fair to all the things. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd like to make a motion, Mr. President. What's the motion, Mr. President? It's, it's, it's a motion. Yeah. Carry the hearing. So another day, another day. So to be in continuation, it's not over. We're not voting tonight. We're continuing it on another day. So we have a chance to Thank you. Okay, thank you. May I say that if the council will say that day? It's a motion on the floor. He can't see. Seven. 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 Before you vote, you, you, you can't. Thank you very much. Thank you. Have a good evening. Yes, I'm on